what's up guys and welcome to another episode of JSR Outdoors so that was my rifle and that was a hunting bag and you did see the green light so you might be thinking well rifle hunting bag green light if you thought I'm gonna go take this guy out and get it tested out in the blind you thought correctly so the weather has increased drastically here in Texas. We've gone from cold, nasty, wet, 35 degree mornings and nights to eh, mostly sunny, 65 degrees. So with the weather clearing up and with it being as nice of a weather as we've had in weeks, I said I'm going to go sit in the blind. I'm not going to wait. I'm not going to wait until the opportunity presents itself. I'm gonna get out here. I'm going to get this light tested, hunt a couple of the pigs I've seen coming in the last couple of nights, and we'll get the battery charged up tomorrow and really see what it does. So we're on the way out to the blind. I'm fixing to get out there, get something to eat, get set up, and I'll catch up with you when we're there. Okay, so yeah, had to stop and get Taco Bell. You get an entire meal for like five dollars and fifty cents. You get a the what is it? Beefy five layer burrito, nacho fries, and a crunchy taco and a drink for five bucks. It's cheap and easy, guys. Normally, I would say healthier or anything not so processed and better than that. But I'm heading out to the blind. I'm gonna be out here for like six or seven hours. I've got to have something in my stomach, otherwise I start getting a little hangry while I'm sitting there and get impatient, so not a good mix while you hunt. Alright guys, well we're here, I'm going to go ahead and a little bit more corn on the ground so it looks like there's not a lot of corn but there's not as much as there was at a point in time you can also see a few pig tracks in here too which is encouraging so i'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of the bait out i'm just gonna get the feeder to throw some more corn out Looks like there's plenty in there. I have it set on just a one 10 second feed right now. Since I'm not coming out all the time as frequently as I used to. So got it set on one. I've had the pigs coming in. So we will see what tonight brings, but I've got to get everything unloaded and set up. everything set up I'm ready to hunt so I'm gonna get the camera put down I'm gonna enjoy my time out here hopefully some pigs come in but we'll see how it goes ultimately I'm here to test the light I just happen to bring a rifle and everything else along for the trip so if something comes in it does if it doesn't it doesn't all else fails I had a quiet night out in the blind and 
was able to have some good, just genuine, quiet time to myself. So I'll catch up with you guys later. Well guys, I'm glad you were able to tag along and really see how the light worked out. The pig really was a complete surprise. I'd been patterning him a little bit, but as a lot of you already know, every time you think you pattern a pig, they don't show up. So I had just been watching and watching and watching, watching just weather conditions and looking to see what would be a good night to go out. And ironically enough, the night I go out would be the night that the pig comes out. Who would have thought? It really is that simple. But really, it, if you think like that, it makes it a little bit easier for you to get in the mind of the animal. If it's cold, wet, and 32 degrees, are you going to be outside? Most likely they won't be either. Now, I'm sure there's a ton of people who would argue the fact that they're going to move no matter what. You know what, I'm telling you what I see from the wild game in my area. When it's cold, there's a lot of moisture in the air, nothing comes out. Yeah, they've gotta eat, but I guarantee you they're sticking close to home and they're not heading out to feeders. So I picked a night that was gonna be nice, cool, and really just a good night to sit. Got the green light out there, it lit up everything, and I know y'all seen a post where I have posted pictures of it out there before. Well, this was more of the initial test to see how it was going to work. So, I ended up leaving the light there and picking it up the next day. And unfortunately, the solar panel that I had paired with it just didn't work out. So, I did, however, end up getting a new solar panel. I've got the configurations right, so... It all worked out. I'm glad I was able to take out the pig when I was there too. He came in, green light didn't affect him one bit. And that was a giant boar. He was probably, if I had to age him, probably a year and a half-ish, probably close to 200 pounds. I mean, I'm a big guy and I'm, I'm fairly muscular, but I couldn't get him in the bed of my truck to save my life. So I ended up having to process him right there as he laid, got him quartered up and pretty much just discarded the remains and did what I needed to do. So I'm excited to announce that JSR Outdoors finally has its own website. So the website is pretty much a landing space for y'all to go to. That way there's not 
a million links. It's all organized, it's clean. There's a link there for my optics and the accessories that go with it. There's another link there for the trail camera that I use and the accessories for that. And also links to the two groups that I've created. One is on a new social network called MeWe. I don't know if a lot of y'all are a part of that or have seen it yet, but it's growing. So I went ahead and created a group there and it also has a link over to my Facebook group. Uh, right at the bottom, it's called the Budget Minded Outdoorsman. Those are groups that you can go into and this is just gear that I'm finding pretty decent deals on. And the idea behind it is that I find the gear for you. If you want to buy it, all you have to do is go to the site, click the link and check out. So kind of doing like a middleman thing here and showing you some of the deals that you can find online. So if you are interested in joining those groups, click the link below in my Instagram bio. It'll direct you to the website. And also to there's links to all of our social network platforms, Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. So click the link in the bio. Tell me what you think of the website. Tell me if you think it's appealing. Should I add something? Should I create a community for people to be able to chat and to do this and to do that? You know, I need some ideas. I went with something clean and it's really about the only idea I had with it. I just wanted something that looked good. So you know, make sure you click the link in the bio, send me a DM, tell me what you think. But right now, that's all I've got for you and I'll catch you on the next video.